Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Zoneta, Polish girl living in Taiwan. It just so happened that we found ourselves back in Tainan, and to my delight, the Christmas decorations were already up at the Shinko Mitsukoshi store. I hadn't seen any other shopping mall quite as ready for Christmas in early November. Since we were already in the area, we decided to also check out two of Tainan's gem, Blueprint Creative Park and the Tainan Judicial Museum. During the weekend, you can expect many food stores around the shopping mall as well. The Blueprint Creative Park is just across the street from the shopping mall. Opened in December 2015, this charming cultural park combines art, history and creativity. Despite its modest size, it's packed with experiences that will delight art enthusiasts and curious travelers alike. In traditional engineering, a blueprint is a detailed technical drawing, often used in construction and design, characterized by its iconic blue background and crisp white lines. But in Chinese, it also symbolizes a vision or a dream for the future. And this dual meaning is reflected in the park's concept. The story of Blueprint Park begins with a piece of street art created by architect Liu Guozhang in 2004. His artwork, titled The Ruins Blueprint, transformed a wall on Highan Road into a blue visual that resembles architectural plans. After the wall was claimed by its owner and the artwork painted over, the Tainan city government invited Liu to recreate it at a new location. By December 2014, the new 3D Blueprint installation marked the beginning of what would become the Blueprint Culture and Creative Park. The park has transformed all dormitory buildings into a lively creative hub. Here, you can browse stalls with local artists, handmade crafts and unique souvenirs. There are rotating displays of both contemporary and traditional art, as well as cozy caves to unwind after exploring. Later on, we went to visit the Tainan Judicial Museum. On the way to the museum, we noticed a couple of buildings undergoing renovation and the covering boards said it's Tainan Old Prison. I can't wait for it to be finished and ready for visitors. The museum visit took longer than expected. It's actually pretty spacious inside. The volunteers there were incredibly friendly and we even met one who came from my husband's hometown. Not just the same town, but even the same street, though he had moved to Tainan long ago. Lucky him, I thought, I wish I could once again live in Tainan. Living up north now, what I miss the most is food and the warm weather. Just recently, Miaoli had strong winds and temperatures dropped to around 13 degrees Celsius in early morning, making people break out their winter jackets. But here in Tainan, we were greeted with a balmy 30 degrees Celsius and I happily wore shorts once again. It's amazing how just 200 km can make such a huge difference in Taiwan's climate. Built in 1914, during the Japanese occupation of Taiwan, 
the time on this record was designed to serve as a major judicial office in southern Taiwan. At the time, Taiwan's legal system was undergoing significant changes, shifting from traditional local governance to a more modern court system, modeled after Japan's legal structure. The court was part of the largest effort to modernize Taiwan's judicial system. We also join a tour to visit Catwalk, which only opens twice a day with a group limit of 10 people. Here you can clearly see the internal structure of a mansard roof. The Tainan District Court building is a striking example of Western classical architecture infused with local elements. Designed by architect from the Japanese Governor General's office, it features a blend of neoclassical and baroque styles, which were popular during the early 20th century. The main structure is built with red bricks and has distinctive asymmetrical design that sets it apart from other buildings of the era. The court's most iconic feature is its grand facade, with towering columns, a baroque-style dome and an intricate pediment. The interior is just as impressive. The spacious lobby, adorned with 12 classical columns, elaborate woodwork and a central dome with a skylight that bathes the room in natural light. Interestingly, the original location of the court was at the former site of Qing Dynasty government offices, specifically the Wanshou Palace and the Confucian Temple area. However, due to growing demands for a more suitable space, the Japanese authorities decided to be a new courthouse. The museum has some fun interactive elements too. In one of the courtrooms, there are clothes you can wear, so you can dress up as a judge or prosecutors from the past. It's a great way to get into the historical vibe. There is also a detention room where you can take hilarious photos with crime boards featuring playful labels like Hat Thief or Free Treasures. I even received a birthday gift. If you show your ID at the gift shop and your birthday falls within the month of November, you will get a small present. Tainan truly has a unique charm, a mix of history, creativity and warmth that make it feel like a world apart from other places in Taiwan. As the sun set, we return to the Shinko Mitsukoshi Mall to enjoy the Christmas decorations before heading back. It started to get darker and now the decorations came to life with festive lights. For some, it may be a strange sight that people were so little standing in front of Christmas tree, but I miss the weather and it's just starting to get cooler up north, but I'm already looking forward to summer. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.
next little wall chain. Bye.